Okay, so we want to know how to find copyright-free images through a Google image search that we could use as book covers or as part of a presentation or something like that. So I'm here at the Google homepage, which today is very fancy, and we are, what are we celebrating today? Uh, Kandinsky's birthday. It looks cool. But let's, uh, let's search for something we might actually want to put on the cover of our book. So let's say you've written a book about space travel or rockets. So you start by searching rocket. And of course, you get typical Google results about rockets, but we know we want a picture, so I'll switch to images. And I get all these lovely images of rockets. Rockets are cool, but I don't know where all these images came from, and I certainly don't know if I'm allowed to use them or not. So to find out if I can use an image, I'm going to switch to search tools. And I'm going to use this part here called usage rights. And when I select usage rights, and because I want to reuse these on a book that I might be selling through NaNoWriMo, um, I want to find things that are labeled for reuse, or even labeled for reuse with modification. That means I can change something about the image. That's the best license you can have if you want to be able to alter the image that you're working with. And when I switch to labeled for reuse with modification, these are the images I get. Now there's still no guarantee that just because these came up in this search that I'm really allowed to use them. So if I like this one here, this one's very pretty, I'm going to go to the actual source of that image. And I'm going to choose to visit the page where it appears. And it's showing up here on Wikipedia. So it's a Delta IV rocket. That looks cool. It's coming from a Creative Commons site. Um, and I should be able to use that image. So now I can save that image or even copy the image URL. Once my new Google drawing is open, I'll select that I want to upload an image. I'll select that I want to do it by URL. Paste in the URL for that rocket select that picture, and it appears here. Now, if I'm going to use it as my book cover, I'll move it to the upper left-hand corner, expand it out, till it's the size I want, and then I can use a text box to add the title of my book, and change that to white, a little bit larger, something like that. But of course I still have to say where I got this image from. I can't just uh, leave it hanging there. So that URL that I used to grab the image needs to appear somewhere. So I'm going to take that text box again, down here in the corner this time, paste in that URL, but I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to make it white so it shows up. And bring it in so it matches the size of my book. Well, all I have right here is the front of my book, but you could also put this URL on the back of your book, and you'd probably say something like cover image courtesy of, and then the URL. If you put something like that on the back of your book, and as long as your image is coming from a place where you're allowed to use the images from, you should be fine. So use your Google search, use your search tools, and make sure you've selected labeled for use, reuse with modification.